It's sunny at the most days. You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down. I was about to be like, good morning, beautiful people. And then in my head straight away, it was like, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. I feel like Disney people know, do you know what that is? <laughs> you will know eventually. Yeah. That's the right answer. Today, we are heading to Cornwall. It's 20 past seven in the morning. and We've been on the road since 5.50, so quite a while. I've already managed to spill coffee down me. Good thing I overpacked because uh, this is just not the situation anyone needs. But I'm literally so excited and until about five minutes ago I was still asleep I think. Like I've just been in a grump all morning and I've finally woken up, feel good and I just cannot wait to finally go camping. I think we booked this maybe a month ago ish two months ago two. quite a while ago wasn't it it's quite a while ago so it's been a long time coming and obviously we've got the tent we've been excited like we've been planning stuff and it's finally here and I'm not gonna lie the weather's not looking too great it's not too bad at the moment as you can see it's kind of like it's overcast but it's like the sun's trying to break through and it's quite warm so it's not too bad tomorrow's meant to be the same and then it's meant to be like a bit rainy over the weekend but fingers crossed it's similar to the weather we've had recently where it's kind of like it says it's going to be really bad weather and then actually it's really good or like it's just overcast hopefully we're going to be there at about 11 30 12 depending if we stop off which is great timing because we can pitch up from 12 which means we can get everything like put in tent up done and then hopefully get back on the road and be able to go like to a beach or something for sunset at about four obviously it is overcast so we'll probably look to see a sunset but we can just go to a beach and have a nice little afternoon and have like a little drink or something. <laughs> I haven't even told you where we're actually going. Um, we're heading down. I, this is how delusional I am this morning. My brain is not screwed on. So we're heading to stay in a little campsite near St Ives. I will leave it linked down below. We booked it through a website called Pitch Up. It seems to be like one of the easiest to book through for campsites and stuff. And they kind of detail what you get there. So booked one called, I think it's called like Higher Penderley or something. I can't remember. And... We're staying there for the full time, so five nights. Four nights? Five nights. Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, yeah, four nights. And then we're gonna plan on like staying down that neck of the woods, so like Land's End, Penzance, like St Ives, all that kind of neck of the woods, and just stick to like lower Cornwall. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna drink my coffee, wake myself up a bit, and then I'll catch up with you when we're a bit further down the road, because we've got four, and a, four hours and 15 minutes left. <laughs> it we're at the campsite we've got like a nice little corner plot over here we're just setting up the gazebo and then the boys have said because me and amelia didn't drive we've got to do the tents which is totally fine <laughs> mine is inflatable so i don't care but i'll put you on a little time lapse while we set everything up because it's probably going to be a busy little process is up everything is sorted and we've quickly put face on grabbed our bikinis and we're going to the beach because it's so sunny today that we want to make the most of the weather but basically we don't have a gas canister to go with the cooker long story short it doesn't work so we're basically on a wild goose chase now to try and find a gas thing that goes with the cooker but we've ended up at morrison's buying alcohol so it could be worth but the hunt for the gas continues We've just got to Carvis Bay, which is our little beach stop for the afternoon. And oh my God, there's the cutest dog hanging out the window. <laughs> Look at his face. 
<laughs> distracted by dogs. Couldn't really find parking. We did sat nav it to a car park, but then the car park we just didn't end up getting to. So we've parked outside of Carbis Bay Estate Hotel, and the guy said to us, as long as we go in for an ice cream or something, it should be fine. But because we've come at five o'clock in the afternoon, there's probably not gonna be anyone to come and check, which is perfect. So a little tip if you come in the afternoon, you can park here. For reference, it's like just under a little bridge. So really good little spot. So we're gonna take the snacks down to the beach. We're gonna go and sit for a little bit, enjoy the water. I'm probably gonna get a picture because this is me. And then we're just gonna have a little cider and chill. Literally can't tell you how happy being by the sea makes me. <laughs> Good evening guys. So we've just got back to the tent, had a nice little shower and honestly, showers are so nice and hot, it was a relief. I honestly thought they were gonna be freezing and I was a bit worried that I would just be cold permanently through this weekend, but I'm not, I'm nice and warm. So I thought I would quickly show you what our tent setup looks like because we obviously have like the whole situation behind me that you guys saw on the vlog earlier. So I'm gonna give you a little tour as it's golden hour. How unreal is this lighting? I'm sorry. I think I might have to come out here and get a little pic tomorrow because do it for the gram you know but this is what the tent setup looks like so we've got a lovely little corner plot as you can see the sun is just setting behind which is all through like the kitchen bit so this is amelia and chris's tent and then this is our tent so ours is gigantic we didn't realize how big it was when we bought it but it's huge it's actually a five-man tent so you've got like a living area and stuff that i'll show you now but it's so handy we've just got the towels hanging up to dry here so ignore those and then this gazebo is amelia's dad and he kindly lent it to us for the weekend so that we could put our little kitchen set up in here just because it's meant to rain so we thought we'd like a bit of cover and also it makes it a bit toastier so in here is like our little kitchen little situ and then this is our little tent feet james so we've got like a big living area bit here which we said we're going to use for like the camping chairs and like just chilling because obviously we've got the kitchen then this is like technically a bedroom but we've used it as like a little dumping ground for all of our stuff so all our clothes and everything are in here and then we can just shut it and change in there but it does actually like come apart so you can pull this bit out and make it one big room if you wanted to but we kept it separate and then this is the technically bedroom so we've got the big i think this is a double I, I don't know but it's a double air bed this is our little bedroom so we've got loads of blankets and stuff and a hot water bottle and then we've kind of used these little pouches for like games and stuff so we've got all our games stacked up here between all of us we've kind of got loads of different bits and then we've got a few in there there's a nice big window here which is a bit misty from the um towels but little window and then another window here which is where the gold now is coming through and just looks beautiful look at this it looks so stunning and then We've got like the little field over here, which is really pretty as well. You can't really see it right now, but it just looks really nice. So yeah, that's our little, that's our little setup. And now we're just gonna have some dinner and some drinks and chill for the evening and just relax because when in Cornwall. Good morning, it's day two and we've got up really nice and early this morning. Chris is just cooking us some breakfast. We're having some bacon and sausages. And then we're gonna head off for a really long walk. So we're actually going from Senen Cove to Land's End and then back via this beach. I don't know how you say this name, but basically via there. I thought it'd be really nice to do that while it's still sunny because it is meant to be kind of on and off rain for the rest of the weekend. And we thought, make the most of it. So that's gonna be really fun. I literally love going on long walks so much. So I'm really excited. And then I think later we're gonna head to a little like pub that does like bowling and stuff as well. So we're gonna do some bowling, play some like games and stuff and just have like a really nice pub evening. But I slept so well, like this is literally the dreamiest little tent. And we've got like a little blackout bit. So like you can see here is black and the rest of the tent is white. And it was really nice and dark when we woke up this morning and then as soon as we opened like the zip up it was just so bright and it was really nice because it was kind of like a nice little like easy wake up and we woke up with all the birds and everything oh it's just so nice and top tip if you do ever go camping i bought my hot water bottle and we put it under the duvet before we got into bed by the feet so it like warmed all the bed up really nicely so when we got in it was just really toasty and we both slept really really well so definitely worth doing that i'll give you a rundown of my outfit quickly so i've got this sweatshirt on from adidas which is actually from asos and i got an eight because it does come up really 
really really big and then i've got my gymshark leggings on these are the training leggings and they are just the comfiest thing ever they're only like 20 pounds and really really comfy and then i'm gonna be putting on my walking boots so comfortable i can't even tell you i have plastered up my feet just in case so like back of my heels and stuff because i don't want to have to like any annoying things while we're walking and then i've also got my raincoat as well which i wore in the last vlog if you saw that which is just another amazon cheapy it's just like a thin raincoat that goes over the top it was 25 pounds really affordable i'll leave a link down below if you want it but it's my outfit for today very cozy hilariously james is also wearing the same jumper <laughs> i did I, I bought it for me and then i really liked it so i bought him the men's version and i just think they're really cute <laughs> we're out and about we are doing the walk not sure how well we're gonna fare because apparently there's like some really steep bits and it starts steep so we'll see how it goes but i love a good walk and i love just like being out and seeing different things so hopefully it's a good one and i'm excited i've got a little i walk cornwall app going and it basically has like detailed descriptions of like where to go so we should be fine we'll update with progress <laughs> reached a point where there's an abandoned ship that's like really old and rusted like it's, it must have been here a really long time and the boys have decided to climb down to it i think we've lost them for about an hour because they're fully just going in the ship and just walking around and like just having a blast so yeah <laughs> i think we've lost them i was going to go join them but it's quite steep to begin with and like it's not the easiest of climbs like there's a stream so it's a bit wet i didn't really fancy it because i'm small so i don't think it would be very good to try and get down but they were fine they managed to get all the way down so We'll see what they get when they come back. You can't really tell on camera, but this is the first bit. So it's like very steep and then it goes all the way down and over there. So the boys are literally just stood here. I don't know if you can see them. Um, they're kind of like dancing around. I don't know if they're going in or what, but they're just having a little look. And then we're just sat all the way up here. made it to Land's End. <laughs> we did the walk from Zen and Cove and it's taken us forever because we keep stopping. I think it's took us like, let me have a look on my watch. It's took us an hour, but we stopped off at the shipwreck. We stopped off at like various different points and we've done two kilometers so far of our like 10 kilometer little hike. So very, very long winded, but we just keep stopping off because everything's cool and we're just taking it easy, not faffing around or anything like just, just it's not a get to the destination it's like a enjoy the stops on the way kind of vibe but it's so cute here like every single scene is so stunning it's just amazing and the guys are just in the queue i'm wanting a cornish ice cream clotted cream ice cream i can't have one i might have some sorbet or something but everyone gets ice cream i get a fruit pastel lolly <laughs> is it good i'm jealous <laughs> We are heading for some fish and chips. Our walk is over and oh my god, it's such a stunning walk. The walk through Senen Cove to Land's End is just beautiful. Highly recommend. It's not that hard, it's not that far. Like it's just a quite a nice little walk. I think it's like 3k or something there and then same back. But it's so stunning and I am now very excited for some fish and chips. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Good morning guys It is Sunday, no, it's Saturday today So we're on the second full day in Cornwall And we've decided to come into St Ives Because it's meant to be like on and off weather today Like it's not meant to be that good So we thought what we'll do is come to St Ives And then if it's raining we can duck in a shop Or duck in a restaurant And there's no fuss with like being in the middle of a hike and just getting absolutely drowned so we have parked at the very top of the hill like we're literally all the way up there and we're just walking down now to the like coastal little beachfront and we're going to try and find somewhere to go for food but Amelia and Chris have had to go to the laundrette this morning because their tent just leaked so they got completely soaked and they've had to go and wash all their bedding and stuff so we're just quickly walking down and then meeting us here in a minute so we're gonna scout out where to eat. But what do you feel like? Do you feel like burgers? Do you feel yeah. like seafood, fish and chips? Seafood or fish. Someone said there's a really good fried chicken place, but I can't remember what the name of it was. What do you fancy? I fancy a nice burger. 
we'll try we'll see what we can come across but first and foremost i really want a coffee like a good coffee i haven't had a good coffee in like three days yeah. now and i'm craving a really good coffee but we've also quickly realized i don't know if you can see the little hill behind me we've parked at the top of the hill so like it's a quite a steep walk back to the car which i think is gonna be a fun fun trip later sorry quickly stopped the vlog because we bumped into chris and realized that it was just impossible for us all to get up and down that hill so we came into the park, car park behind the laundrette which is not that big but it seemed to be the least busy one that we found so little tip if you come to st ives this car park's probably a good one to go to but we're finally parked we're in we're gonna go get some food and just have a good day out because let me tell you it is like two o'clock i'm starving we all need a glass of wine after the morning we've had and it's just been one of those days the definition of oh what a day <laughs> it literally is the definition of that tiktok but oh, what a day into a fudge and rock shop because it's two of James's absolute favourite things to get fudge and chocolate. No, fudge and rock, sorry. <laughs> so he's in his element just picking up some rock and stuff here. Five! Fair. They also have got different flavours. I really want some fudge because it looks, looks yummy. So I think I'm going to get some fudge. We have come to Beer and Bird for dinner. Lunch slash dinner. Because it's like four o'clock. But I'm so excited. It looks so good. And it's also happy hour. So we're getting some cocktails. I want the Jungle Bird, which is like a tea tea cocktail with like pineapple and stuff. And then I think I'm going to get a Raging Cock Burger. <laughs> I just like the name of it. It sounds really funny. So we're really hungry and really need good food. Good morning guys, it's Sunday today and I realised I have been very abrupt with the ending of the different days but last night ended up being a bit of a kerfuffle because we went to Beer and Bird which is such good food, like so good food. Highly recommend if you're in the area. I don't think it's the easiest thing to find, like you wouldn't just walk past and see it per se but so good, like genuinely the most unreal food ever. We all couldn't rate it highly enough. And then we basically went on a little hunt to try and find a pub to watch the football. Couldn't find one, so we came back to the tent, played Uno. We'd all had a few cocktails and it was just a good little game of Uno in the tent for the evening, watching football, which we scored 4-0. Amazing. So that was last night. This morning, we've got up nice and early. So it's currently, I think it's only like half eight. And we're heading off to St. Michael's Mount. Then we're going to Nan Nanjazal, I think it's called Beach. And then we're also going to try and do the Minak Theatre. So get all the little bits done that we haven't done yet and try and just see some sights before we head home tomorrow, which is my birthday. And tomorrow, yeah, we're just literally driving home. It is currently raining. I'm thinking it might stop raining. So fingers crossed because it's not meant to rain all day. Um, and to be fair, it's not even raining now. I think it's just like the remnants of the rain. Like it's just shaking off the trees. So I think we're good. I have positive thoughts for this day. just got into the St Michael's Mount garden so we chose to do the gardens only and not the castle so the castle is £12 entry the gardens is £10 but you can do them both together for 24 and then it's £2.50 each way for the boats but we thought just do the gardens because we're not really that bothered about seeing inside the castle but the gardens are really cool so we thought we'd come and have a look around and apparently this is where they filmed some of the prequel of Game of Thrones recently so very very cool and definitely something that if you're a Game of Thrones fan You'd like to know. Like, look at it, it's just so pretty. <laughs> Hi 
highly recommend coming here guys it's so beautiful like i said we didn't do the castle we just did the grounds but the grounds are worth a visit because it's just so pretty and on the way in the guy said to us that the prequel of game of thrones is being filmed here which is really cool so if you like game of thrones worth a visit but it's honestly stunning like everything is just beautiful and it's so nice and toasty as well like we thought it was going to be really cold and rainy and horrible today and it's completely surprised us and been the opposite next spot of the day we are at land's end and we're going to be hiking over to i think it's called nanjazal beach i don't know how you say it we keep calling it nanjal because i'm not sure but um we're going to hike over there that's not my friend <laughs> i'm walking with random people here um i feel really awkward <laughs> I was just walking with random strangers thinking they were you lot, that's fun. Um, yeah, so we're walking over to that beach and then we're going to come back again. But basically the only way that you can get to the Ninjazal, Ninjazal? I, can't, I don't know how you say it. Someone's going to correct me, I know for sure. Um, but the only way you can get there is by hiking from Land's End or from other places. So we thought we'd just come to Land's End because it's a two kilometre hike there and a two kilometre back. So nice and easy. It's sunny at the most days You'll never see the sky if you keep looking down And if you take the wrong way And maybe you should stay instead of turning around So, but you keep on going I know As you can probably tell it's a couple of days later and I'm just editing the vlog and realized I didn't finish it so thought I would finish it now for you just as a little um, disclaimer I guess you could say everything we did was pretty much free apart from obviously parking and I think the only place we had to pay for parking was St Michael's Mount we paid do you remember how much that was I can't remember it wasn't expensive was it, it was like six quid less than that more than that it wasn't much about six quid. Um, St Ives, I think it was about 10 pounds for an entire day, so that was quite affordable. And then the only thing we had to like pay to get into was St Michael's Mount, which was 10 pounds for the garden or 14 pounds for the castle. We chose to just do the garden because we weren't that fussed about seeing inside. And it was also two pound 50 each way for the boat. So very affordable, very easy to do Cornwall on a budget. The only thing I think we really spent money on was like food and alcohol for at the campsite. But other than that, it was a pretty inexpensive trip. Highly recommend the campsite we stayed in just because it was a really good location. I think the maximum time it took us to get anywhere was maybe like 40, 50 minutes and that was all the way down to Land's End. Other than that, everything was like a 20-ish minute drive. So many more things we could have done, but we wanted to take it a little bit easy and just not like overdo ourselves with too many things. And me and James are actually already planning to go back in August because we just had such a lovely time and there's so much more that we want to see there. And I want to kind of experience it when it's sunny because obviously it was like meant to be raining the whole time we did have the odd bursts of rain but it wasn't too bad um and i wish to be honest i wish i'd filmed more because we did do quite a lot of like cool dinners well not cool dinners but we did dinners and stuff in the campsite and played a lot of games and it was just a really nice time but i went with people who do not do social media at all so obviously respecting privacy i didn't really put them in the vlog so just got a lot of my face <laughs> but i really hope you enjoyed seeing this little travel vlog i will leave linked in the description box and in the cards my vlog from the llama stay that i did recently too and any other staycations and stuff will be in the travel vlog playlist which i will also leave down below but I really hope you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to share the next ones with you. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.